apron at probably my least adept piece of artwork. For some reason, the rudimentary combination of squiggly lines and blocks of colour bring me to so much joy. Now let me try my best and attempt to explain why. The world I live in, the lens I look at life through, is my most treasured paintbrush. I reach for my purple dress. It is soft and it is flowy. It sits on my figure. My mind swells and I embody something beautiful. The universe at this exact moment in time has provided me with a dazzling piece of art. I see myself not only invoking magic in my works of art, but to also perpetrate my views throughout every aspect of my existence. I would like my visions to not be mistaken for materialism vanity. The way one constructs the details of their life and surroundings into one solid perception seems to be human's art at a very primal level. The most wonderful feelings are sometimes so secluded, so little, that many do not take the time to delve into and uncover them. That is the labour of the artist. They do this through clothing, structures, paintings, photography, theatre and characters to evoke realities and feelings that can get lost through the weight of today's society. Lines of paint on a canvas can fill viewers with precision and stimulation. Films having the ability to transport you to other worlds as well as songs establishing a particular atmosphere and emotion, capable of carrying you through time. Now if you look at the world in this light, it is excitingly similar to a piece of art, a construction of components inventing a feeling of meaning. Although structure, goals and education are all incredibly treasured and necessary, people become so enriched in hierarchical wealth the idea of stability, that they forget that these are not synonyms of happiness. If you were to discuss true contentment and happiness, you would quickly encounter a theme. The world is a magnum opus. The way your handwriting disposes from pen onto paper, the way mint tea ignites your throat, the way grass drifts in harmony with the wind, the tiptoe of foot. These are all forms of art, whether you have the desire to recognise them or not. Art is often recognised and associated with the weird, but that is its source of power and strength. Those that do not understand an art's value believe that it shouldn't be taken seriously, nor will it likely profoundly benefit mankind. This nature of mindset is completely false and comes from a place of unfortunate lack of Squiggly lines and blocks of colour may not be the most profound of quality, but they deserve a space in this incredible way of existence that continues to exquisitely mystify while simultaneously being able to bring clarity. The end.